Hey guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you are here. Here on this channel, we are a community of people passionate about talking about life, Jesus, and the journey of faith in a real, honest, and open way. So if that's something that interests you, then please hit subscribe down below and become part of this community and stay up to date on all that we are doing here on this channel. Today we are jumping back into our series, Real Talk About Evangelism, in which we're talking about this thing that as Christians, a lot of us feel like we should do, but we probably don't do, or we feel like we're bad at it, or we're just not sure about it. It kind of has a little bit of a bad rep, almost like a, like, I don't like talking about that. Like the world doesn't really like that. So like, what is this evangelism thing? And today we are actually answering that very question. What is evangelism and why does it matter? Because I think a lot of us have a little bit of confusion on evangelism, though we've grown up with the term, though we've heard it, we might not know what it really means, or we've surrounded it with all these other ideas, or there's baggage on it. And today I just want to kind of strip that back and look at what it is and why it matters. So put simply, evangelism is sharing good news. The word actually comes from the Greek word euangelion, which means good news. And back in that time, an evangelist would have been one who would come into town often on horseback and would pronounce the good news that Rome had acquired new territory and the empire had expanded. But under Christianity, the word got a real rebrand and Christianity kind of made the word synonymous with sharing the good news, the ultimate good news about the life, death and resurrection of Jesus and his offer of salvation to all people. And I don't know about you, but I just find it fascinating to see how that rebrand worked. That Christians took this very politically charged word that had to do with the Roman Empire, which was often oppressive to the people that it subjugated. It was a harsh empire that was continuing expanding and expanding. And they rebranded it into a word that had to do with the spread of the kingdom of God, a kingdom that put the last first, a kingdom that looked out for the poor and the downtrodden, a kingdom that offered salvation to people that said that despite the chasm that had been put between us and God, Jesus stepped into earth, became a man, and he bridged that gap for us, offering us life, healing the sickness in our souls that we call sin. And that is the good news. And that is what evangelism came to mean. So put simply evangelism now, it means sharing good news and specifically sharing the good news about Jesus. And we as Christians believe that is the best news the world has ever heard that while we were sinners, Christ died for us and that he offers us a new life. And so that is simply what evangelism is. Evangelism is sharing good news. And I don't know about you, but when you put it like that, it doesn't sound that hard because I'm a great evangelist for like a new restaurant I find, a new coffee shop. I'm a great evangelist about like a new sale I see or a new YouTuber I like. I'm good at sharing good news with others. But for some reason, not quite as good at sharing the good news about Jesus. And that's a topic we're going to explore later on in this series. So why, why is it so awkward if it, we're just sharing good news? But to transition into the second half of this video, I want to talk about why does it matter? Like I get that it's sharing good news, but why is it so important? And you see, I think this stems from the fact of the Great Commission. And if you're not familiar with that, you can find it in Matthew 28. And this is a time when Jesus tells his disciples to go into all the world, making disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to do everything that he has commanded them. For surely he is with them till the very end of the age. And this has become known as the Great Commission. And it's not something that's optional for Christians. It's not for the elite Christians, but he calls all Christians to step into this, to spread the gospel. So you could say on one hand, evangelism matters because well, Jesus told us to, but evangelism also matters because the message matters, right? The message of life, of hope, of restoration, of reconciliation, that is the gospel that matters for a hurting and dying and broken world, a world that needs so desperately the love of Jesus, the message matters. So of course the movement of evangelism matters as well. But ultimately, I think the great commission it stems from an overflow of our obedience to the great commandments. The great commandments being to love God and love our neighbor as ourself that Jesus gives when he was asked, what is the greatest 
commandment he gives those two and I want to say that you can't love God without loving people it just is simply incoherent and if we love God and we love people then the natural overflow is to share this good news with them because if we love them we take compassion on them for the situation that they're in which is a situation separated from God under the sickness of sin and on a path to an eternal eternal separation from God. And so if we truly love God, and because of that we love people, then we have to follow the Great Commission to share that good news. The Great Commission is the natural overflow of the Great Commandment. So put simply, evangelism matters because people matter. Evangelism matters because people matter and their eternal destination, their life here on this earth, their sickness in their soul is called sin that is separating them from the life they were created for. That matters because they matter because they are loved by God. Evangelism is of the utmost importance because sin is a life and death issue. Evangelism is of the utmost importance because we're talking about eternal matters. We're talking about the lives of people created in the image of God who he loves dearly. Evangelism should matter to us because it matters to God. So in summary, what is evangelism? Evangelism is just sharing good news. And it matters because people matter. So guys, Thank you for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. I hope that it encourages you to go out and spread the good news to allow the Great Commission to be the overflow of obedience to the Great Commandments. And if you enjoyed this video, I just want to encourage you to click like, leave me a comment, letting me know what you think. As always, I love reading those so much. So if you want to do that, that would just mean the world to me. And guys, thank you just so much. I genuinely appreciate all that you do for just watching these videos. It means so much to me. So honestly, sincerely, thank you so much. Until next time, guys, be on the lookout for the next videos in this series and in other series. And until then, go out and love God and love people because that will change the world. Peace. See you guys next time.